Hey guys! So it's that time of year again for me, and that time of year means it's time to touch up my master bathroom. Now last year, I did a pretty big touch up. You know, most of the organizational components of the closet were in place um, from a previous organizational overhaul, but I totally redid the drawers, and I will link all of those um, videos in the more info bar below if you're interested in seeing what my closet looked like last summer, but it's been a year, and I've been noticing that I've been wanting to touch some things up, really to neaten up, tidy up, um, toss old products, stuff like that, and it's been a year, so it's kind of the right time. I, I tend to do this with all of my projects. Um, you know, I'll, I'll get it real nice and neat and newly organized or just reorganized or whatever, and then a year later, I'll be feeling the itch to do some either minor tweaking or just tidying up, or even, in some cases, a total overhaul. Well, for the master bathroom, it was really just a touch-up, um, and that I think I need, or I think I needed, I already did it, but I forgot to film my intro. I can't remember if I filmed my intro, so I'm filming this, but if this is redundant, then yes. At any rate, um, I'm going to take you through, kind of show you what it looked, looked like before I start work on it, and then I did do um, a bit of a container store haul. I'm actually concurrently working on this project with my linen closet as well, so I'm probably going to post one container store haul because I bought all the things all at once and so I'm working on both projects at once. They're both small scale projects, so I have had the time, even though I'm only home here for a week and a half, I'm actually leaving again in just a couple days, but I finished up finally, and um, yeah, so let's go have a look and uh, take you through the journey. So I'm just going to give you a quick before tour. Since I'm not really doing an overhaul, I'm not going to post a separate video. I just want to show you. Counter is pretty much the same as it always is. There's a lush sample I have to try. Um, I would like to find a better way to contain my cords, but honestly that seems to be the most contained that they get so far. So um, that's the counter. Under the counter has gotten a little overflowish. Still loving my um, sliding drawer unit, but I'm thinking I want a big one for that side too, um, if it would fit. So I'm going to look into that. I just have so many products right now. Um, hair drawer pretty much looks the same. Um, I did put some overflow body butters down here. Um, there's not really a whole lot I have to do in this drawer. The little drawer is a little bit cluttered. So, uh, again, it's just a bit of overflow with some products that I can definitely um, pare down a bit. But basically the same organization. Still loving my organizers. They should probably be cleaned out though. And top drawer gets the most use, so it gets the most cluttered looking. But again, similar system, and I really still like it. I just need to work on um, cleaning up a bit. This under sink, again, it just has my steam shower in it. If you watch my other videos, we do have a steam shower. That's the mechanism for it. We don't really use it. It's unfortunate. It takes up a lot of room. But I just store some products down there, some hair stuff, and my hair dryer. I'm not going to change that. The, the uh, shower I am hoping to change. Um, I hate this little corner thing. I hate it. It's not enough room. It falls over. It's stupid. I hate it. I need to find a different solution for um, my shower storage. Uh, so hopefully that will go and something better will come in. Bathtub is pretty much going to stay the same. I kind of want to get a little basket to put my magazines in over there. And I need to clean up. I used to have a candle pushed up against that wall. I need to clean the wall up. But the bathtub area is pretty pretty much the same. I got the Disney World. I just literally like that thing. Um, some running stuff that's not supposed to be here. It needs to be put away. I'm still really loving my drawer. My corner drawer unit up here. I have some lush things and soaps I need to figure out what to do with. And I want to come up with a better um, storage solution for my lush things right now. I mainly keep them in the original pack little bags and packaging they came in, um, but I'm going to try to maybe get some containers, and then this, these are fine as is, my bubble baths, I honestly haven't used them in a really long time, 
And then this one has the sort of my miscellaneous stuff. So if I take out the magazines, I think this would be a lot cleaner looking. Not like anybody can see it anyway. Um, <laughs> the toilet room. Still really enjoy my Pottery Barn wall unit and the trash can's fine. I'm thinking of putting this uh, magazine bin over on my bathtub and getting like a hanging a wall magazine rack um, to put on this wall. And I still need a piece of art to go there or a print or something. Um, back of the door, still loving the towel storage. This didn't pan out quite as I wanted it to. I had these hooks put in last year, my handyman did it. Um, but he hung them too low. They're actually about eye height for me. And I really wanted to hang our bathrobes there, which are hanging on the back of this door at present. Um, so I'm gonna have him raise those. He's coming tomorrow to recalk our shower. So I can then put my nighty and um, hair towel, turby, twisty, whatever thing in the closet. Otherwise, the closet, again, is just overflow. I need to weed through the bins and stuff, but generally the organization is fine. I've just been kind of tossing things in lately um, because of lack of time and I just have too much. So this might play into my linen closet overhaul. I might end up putting my travel stuffs in my closet, my actual closet. I'm not sure yet. Um, my laundry bin's actually downstairs because I'm doing laundry, and that's a bag of garbage, basically, that I just haven't been able to part with. So that's my quick little tour, and um, I'll be back and show you what goodies I got from the container store to uh, clean this up a bit. I finished my bathroom touch-up and I just wanted to give you guys a look. Um, pretty much it looks the same on the exterior um, because like I said in my quick little before tour, the um, countertop is about as neat as I can get it with all the plug-in things we have. Um, I did change a little bit around the bath, but I mainly worked on the cabinets, drawers, the shower, this, well, I've worked on all the organizational components, so I guess I will start um, over here with the drawers uh, and the cabinets. Now, the under sink area was not as functional as it could be. I wasn't using the space as well. So I bought these mesh bins at the container store. I showed them in my haul. And basically, they're just helping me use the space. It's elevating the storage to use all the space. So I have cleaning products and extra feminine products at the bottom. All of my cotton products, extra stuff like cotton balls and cotton rounds and q-tips and stuff. And then I have um, paper towel roll and um, di um, nail polish remover at the top. And then the rest is basically the same except um, I took my hair dryer out of the cabinet under my sink where the steam showers stuff is and I put it here in this little clear bin from the container store. I don't blow dry my hair all that often so it's okay to have it behind things and it kind of now goes with all my other hair um, appliance things so I have all my curlers and, and um, curling irons and flat iron all that stuff in there so it's all kind of together now and I just I really didn't like having anything under that sink I actually took everything that isn't part of the sink out of it, that piece of paper is a manual for the shower, the steam shower, because if we do happen to use it or if Don uses it um, and maybe he doesn't know I have things under there, I was just worried about having stuff there. So I moved everything. And then in the corner, in between, not in the corner, I have just some extra soaps and um, trash bags. So I feel like that really helps me utilize the space under this sink better. So that worked. And then the drawers I basically just cleaned out. Um, the organization is still fine from last year when I did my major organizational work. But I kind of went through, I weeded out products that I don't really use anymore or were expired. And I kind of rearranged a little bit. So I made this section all about um, tooth dental care. So we have our toothpaste and tooth stuff and um, floss and then I just I bought a little plastic bin to put all of Don's floss picks in because those little bags that they came in were really annoying 
And then I gave him up here um, this back part for his razor and also his contacts go in there, but they're not there right now. And his um, comb, because before he was sharing it with the toothpaste stuff, and it was just kind of a jumbled mess. And this way he gets his own space. I basically took all my stuff out of there except for got some nail clippers and things. And then again in the middle, same as my hairbrushes and combs and stuff. Um, you know, night guard, mouth guard, whatever. Um, just neatened it up. I cleaned everything, literally cleaned the drawers. I took everything out and everything out of the compartments and cleaned everything. And then this is all my nighttime face care stuff. I mean, not nighttime, just skincare stuff. Uh, so I just neatened up basically and it worked well. Same with this drawer, neatened up a bit, consolidated a little bit, but basically this is all the same. Um, I really just cleaned the drawer organizers and the bottom of the drawer. I didn't really take a whole lot out of this drawer. Um, so this is Don's section, um, and the rest basically is mine or to share between us. He just does not even have a quarter of the amount of toiletries as I do, so plus, trust me, has plenty of space for his needs. And then this is the same um, hair organization storage. I did move a couple things around. Um, I put some of my hair products in here that I use more, so like my dry shampoo, or this is my dry shampoo, and then I have two different kinds of hairspray. And I put the mousse that I don't really like that much in the closets, again, taking it out of this cabinet. Um, and I just, I kind of um, changed the boxes a little bit. I need to make a label for this, I forgot. Um, but I just sort of just redistributed the stuff in my little boxes, so it made more sense for the hair components I have now. So that was basically all I did for the drawers and cabinets by the sink. The shower, I'm so excited to show you guys because I worked really hard on this. It, it shouldn't have been as challenging as it was. So I don't know if you guys remember the thing I had before. I hated it. It was not nearly enough storage and it like wobbled and I didn't like that it wasn't secured to the wall. But I didn't really want to drill into the nice tile here. So I finally found a suspension um, shower caddy that fits. Um, and I really like this one. I had a lot of trouble getting it assembled because one of the screw parts was like stripped so the screw wasn't working properly. I finally got it, but it was a big headache. But I'm glad I did. It was totally worth it. And I think I'll kind of do a what's in my shower video on my other channel at some point to show you. But I'll just give you a quick overview. Don's very tall. He's six feet. So I have his um, soap and... Um, shampoo conditioner on the top and his razor just hanging on the edge and there is a bar here for a washcloth we don't use washcloths in the shower but if we ever did we could use that bar and then this is basically all of my shampoos and conditioners um, and my razor hanging off the edge and my shaving cream and then the last the bottom two are basically my body products Don's a very simple man he doesn't like fancy body showers or anything like that body showers body gels shower gels wow I'm having trouble speaking. Um, he just likes the one soap. And he's welcome to use any of my products, and he knows that. But um, he really just uses so his own soap. So he doesn't feel bad that I have this much space in the shower, and neither do I. So you guys don't have to worry for Don. But I basically have two um, like different shower gel um, and, sh and um, what are these called? Sugar crub, sugar scrub <laughs> combinations at once. So it's summer, so these are my summer scents. And then down here I have some Lush stuff. This is basically my little Lush shelf. Um, these are uh, bodies like scrub bars. And then these are Lush soaps and stuff. And I have two loofahs now. I have room for two loofahs, which is so exciting. So I have one for like the more fresh scenty stuff and one for the more sweet scenty stuff. And then I do have a body, you know, something on a, a loofah on a stick uh, that you can use on your back hanging over here. We don't really use that little shower head very often. We use our main shower head a lot. And I'm glad I did the bathroom and shower like organization this week because we just had our shower we caught and it looks really nice. So that's that. With the bathtub, I um, basically, I took this, ooh, my camera's having trouble focusing. I took this magazine basket. It was on the floor in our little toilet room. I took it off the floor in the toilet room. I put it up here. I put my People magazines in it. That's what I like to read in the bath. Um, just because before I had them shoved into one of the little drawers at the bottom of my bath caddy cabinet thing here, 
Um, but this makes them much more accessible and I like having them there. The rest of the bathroom, um, you know, I try to keep it as clean as possible. I do have to leave this shower um, bath mat out because I don't really know what this mechanism is, but sometimes when I'm running a bath, it drips. And so that's why that stays there to collect the water. I did reorganize the bath um, corner caddy here a bit. Um, so in the bottom, I basically moved all my non-lush products down here. So all of these are mainly philosophy um, bubble baths. I really don't use them that much. And then I have body skin scrubbers and then some, you know, like a, a lighter for my candles and some little things that I sometimes use like this glass measuring cup for my Epsom salts if I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath. Stuff I don't use quite as much goes in there. And then the other two are my, my new Lush storage. I'm going to do a whole Lush storage video. I'm not sure if it'll be on this channel or my housewife life. But um, I'm kind of testing it out right now, so that's why the stickers are still on the bins. Um, I'm definitely going to keep them. I just don't know if I need quite as many or if I need more. So I'm just leaving the stickers on until I'm totally sure. But this top drawer here is for all my bubble bars. And I have a little... Um, cutting board in here and I do have a little knife that has like um it comes in a little case and it's usually in here but I've been using it in my craft room so it's not in here and I'm going to go through a whole video where I show my Lush storage once I do a big Lush run and kind of fill out my collection because I'm running low um so you can look for that probably this fall um but then this middle drawer is going to be all my um what are they called bath bombs and bath melts. So you can see, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. I already have some of the bath melts already differentiated by type. And then there down there you can see I have a honeybee bath bomb in there. But like I said, I'll go through that in more detail in that future video. Then, this is really exciting you guys. Ready? So that's the door to our um, little toilet room. It doesn't squeak anymore! <laughs> we de-squeaked all the doors, which is awesome. I'm going to turn on the light, but the fan goes on automatically, so it's going to be a little bit loud. So like I said, I took that basket, the magazine basket, off the floor, put it on my bathtub, and I put this up on the wall. I just used picture hangers to hang it up. Um, they make tiny little holes in the wall and secure. Um, and this way we can see all the magazines we have. Now mostly in this bathroom is Don's magazines. You know, I don't know how much, <laughs> this is like too much information. I don't read magazines in the bathroom very often, but he does. And so that's why um, we have mainly boy magazines in here. And then just <laughs> one or two girl ones at the bottom. Um, and then the rest of the toilet room is the same, but I'm not sure I ever showed it. Um, this component is from Pottery Barn. I can't remember if I showed this, but it's where I keep all my feminine products and extra toilet paper. Um, so they're all organized and I have extras on the top you see there and then this row is all the ones that are open and toilet paper. It keeps things nice and neat and out of the way and it looks attractive. Okay, and then the last space, well, what happened is my handyman came to recall the bathroom and de-squeak the doors and I had him move these hooks up about a foot so I can finally hang our bathrobes here because before the hooks were too low and they would pool on the floor and this is what I originally wanted. I wanted my our bathrobes out here. Now most of the time this door is open so you don't necessarily see the towels on the door and the bathrobes but when it's closed now you can see them and I just like the way it looks and I like having them there. They were really... Excuse me. They were really bulky in the closet, so this opened up the hooks I have in the closet for my um, hair turban thing that I dry my hair in, my shower cap, and on the middle hook I will usually hang um, my nightie, um, but it's in the wash now, so I have to change those out. I did redo the um, closet just a little bit, so the... the um, dirty laundry bin is the same, but I added at the bottom these little hooks, they're adhesive hooks, um, 
and you can see I have a sports bra here drying. I tend to get very, very sweaty, and I have found this is a very humid bathroom. And when you put wet or damp clothes in the hamper, they can get really smelly. I mean, my clothes aren't that smelly even when I'm sweating, but they're just damp. If you put damp clothes in a, in a hamper, like buried under other clothes in a very humid room, you're gonna get some bad smells happening. And those are really hard smells to get out of clothes, no matter how clean you keep your clothes. Um, so I decided to put these hooks up so when I have a damp thing, like either in this case a sports bra or maybe a shirt or a top or something, or even just a wet washcloth, I can hang them up there until they're totally dry and then just toss them in the bin. And I thought that was pretty genius. <laughs> and then here I got rid of the jewelry cleaner I had in here. It was a really clunky steam jewelry cleaner. I honestly never used it. I stuck it in my closet in a bin just in case I ever use it. If I don't use it in a couple of years, I will probably give it away. Um, this bin's basically the same. It has washcloths, um, extra tur towel drying, hair drying turbans, and then extra of my spa wraps that I use to wash my face. And then the, this side I use for all the tall products that don't fit in these bins because they're too tall. So I put in the mousses and stuff from under that, under my sink where they, I was worried about them being with the um, steam shower mechanism. I put them in here because I really don't use them that much, as well as extra shampoo and conditioner for me that's really, really tall. Oops, that just fell over. Stay up. And then the medical and first aid bins are basically the same. I just tidied up. Um, you can see I just kind of neatened up. I went through, there were some things that had to be tossed. Um, but basically, everything's all set in those. Um, and then same thing with our extras bins. I just kind of tidied up. Um, so that worked out well. Now this is where I really made the big change. Up here before I had my travel stuff in two bins, my travel toiletries, I totally moved those because it was getting too crowded and it was really frustrating. We've been traveling so much lately. I have so many travel toiletries. I really wanted them all in one big bin and they did not not have to be in the bathroom. So I moved them and I'll show you that in a second. But I repurposed these bins. So this one, really heavy. Yeah, it's, excuse me. This one has my extra products in it. I like a good sale or a good deal, so I have a lot of backup shower products. And this one I call my specialty cleaning bin. Sorry for the shoddy camera work here. Um, and it has my jewelry cleaner that I do use, the jewelry cleaning. Um, you know, liquids, and then also my deep cleaner makeup cleaning components. Um, so that's that. Then up at the top there, I just have some Epsom salts and um, my foot tub. It's I got some soot on it. I can't get that black mark off. But the closet is much more um, airy and functional now, and it just makes me so happy that the doors don't squeak. Now I am going to show you what I did with my travel toiletries. So this was a bin in my closet. If you watched my closet overhaul, I have these bins all on one big shelf with all my travel stuff. This one had a humidifier in it that we honestly don't use that much. So I put it in a different bin up on a higher shelf in the closet and I repurposed this bin for all my toiletries. So basically on this side, I have all my cases and this side I have all my components that might go in the cases. And a lot of the cases are full right now because um, we're in the middle of preparing to travel again. And honestly, I just keep a lot of our regular stuff in the cases because we do travel so much. But I basically put all the empty containers or containers I need to clean in this thing that I don't use to travel anymore. All of our tooth travel stuff in here, like toothpaste and floss and stuff, like miniature stuff. And then all the extra things that I'm not currently using travel size in here. And so that works really well, and now that will go on the shelf in my closet with all my other travel accessory bins. And then I, lastly, I just wanted to show you this container store bag is full of garbage. That's how much garbage I pulled out of the bathroom, and it was pretty neat. Um, so I just thought that was so astonishing I had to show you guys. Now, it's in this reusable bag because I have to sort it between... Um, recycling and trash still. These are bags I bought for the container store because I shop there so much and I reuse them. 
Um, but anyway, uh, the bathroom just feels neater and cleaner and more airy and I can't get over the functionality and beauty of the shower caddy thing now. It's just awesome. And it's, this is such a nice thing to do once a year because I have a great organizational structure in place. Like as you saw, it's still the same as last year, but it's um, much more functional because things just clutter over time. You really do have to look at everything once a year and, and kind of pick out what needs to change. So as you guys can see, I did downsize in the product department. They're just basically products that I either didn't like anymore or were expired or were really, really old and I just didn't know about and I knew I was never going to use them. And, and unfortunately, things like hair and skin care um, and body products, you can't really give them away. Um, it's possible you could give them to somebody you know, but um, most of the things I threw out were either really old or mostly used. So that worked out well. And I actually found a lot of like just plain old garbage in there. But I took you through everything, so you saw. I, I'm, I really just cleaned, um, you know, weeded out the old stuff and um, put in some little new organizational components just to make things run smoother. And it is running smoother. It's actually, the bathroom's been done for a couple days now and it just, it's like a breath of fresh air walking in there. I mean, it wasn't totally disorganized before, but even just spending, you know, half a day on something, tweaking it, making it more manageable, can make a huge difference. Um, and I'm really excited about the the new shower um, suspension pull caddy thing. That is so awesome, and it's been four years I've been looking for something. And I just never thought that one of those would fit. I don't know why. Um, and it does, and I love it. Anyway, that was a really simple, easy project, and I'm glad that I moved my travel toiletries out of there because it was taking up unnecessary space when I have so much room in my master closet. Um, and it feels good. So um, I've also done my linen closet. I'm not sure which one I'm going to end up posting first, but if you haven't seen the linen closet video yet, that will be up shortly if it isn't up already. And if it is up already, I'll link it below. But like I said, I've worked on these projects concurrently because they kind of go together. Um, but uh, yeah, if, you wanna, if you're interested in that and want to check that out, uh, look for that on this channel. And um, I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay. I don't have anything on my lips. So. <laughs>